will be carrying natural hair about. Who, who natural hair help? Okay. You better, you better wear your wig. I'm mean, like this. And be flipping it. Go and spend that money on hair. Spend, draw your brows. Buy lip gloss. Look good. Natural hair is not selling market. When you marry, you off your wig. Hey, because you have entered. There's nothing they can do about it. But before you, the Bible says, he that will have friends must first show himself. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> See, now I understand why you guys want me to react to this because I've been here preaching about natural hair for over a decade. And honestly, this type of messaging is dangerous and I'll tell you why. First of all, this babe is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at her wig, look at her face. She's beautiful. I, I love wigs. I love the fact that you can protect your natural hair. That is the original purpose of wigs. Okay, um, it is not to replace what God has given you. Okay, wigs have their place. And before anybody says, oh, Nancy, rest, it's not that serious. It is serious. If my daughter was in this audience, I would shut this down because we as Africans are already burdened with the unnecessary, yes, unnecessary Eurocentric standards of beauty that we see perpetrated everywhere we are being judged by the wrong standards of beauty okay in fact i think this is a church and i tried to listen to it the entire thing it was just i just couldn't um so let's see what even the bible says about this since people want to go you know the religious route let's see what does the bible actually say about beauty i have a verse a scripture that i love so much it's first peter chapter three let's see if i can you know find it 1 Peter 3, verses 3 to 4. Your beauty should not come from outward adornments, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Guys, you cannot put a wig on a dark heart. The money you're supposed to spend on wigs, spend it on your inner self. Develop yourself. Become emotionally stable. Present yourself just the way you are, a better version. If I spend that money buying natural hair care products, let's see whether your natural hair will not catch that man. I'm a living testimony, you guys. I've been natural. Well, next year, I'll be married for a decade. And listen, when I come home and I do my hair like this for my husband, like this, He'll be like, look at this African queen. Look at this beauty. You are God himself. When God was thinking about beauty, he formed you. And I mean you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Nothing, nothing on your body is a market that sells for a period of time and stops selling. You will always be the price, baby girl. You are beauty in itself. When God looks at you, he looks at himself. So don't let anybody tell you that you need to stop being yourself so that you can become the market or deceive someone into marrying you so that eventually when you get into the marriage, you can now show your true self. No. If you deceive yourself in, you will find yourself out in no time. So guys, let's stop this type of messaging. Let's kill it. Okay.